Why is the thing all tangled? This cord is more tangled than the princess from that movie Tangled. Hey, what is up guys? Amnesia is back, and you might be wondering why in the last episode I left in one room, in this episode I'm starting in a different room. That's because there's some puzzles and some boring stuff. I'm trying to cut all that stuff out because it's kind of boring. And, um, yeah, that's really it. So, without further ado, let's jump right into the video right now. Ah, scary noises! I'm still fixing stuff! Don't be trying to scare me before I even get ready! Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. What the fuck am I doing? I ya ya da 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 da. Whoa! Is there a monster? Here's the pipes in the wall. But I'm missing one, right? Because I can't. Unless you gotta put it up in a certain way. Is that what it is? You gotta put it up in a certain order? Hey, no. Okay, like I said, it goes that way. It literally always goes there. So I guess it goes there, always. Uh-huh. Oh my god! Are you serious? Let's get on out of here before the monster shows up. Yeet! You gotta be kidding me, dude. I literally just had to put it in a different order. I was looking around for a pipe that didn't exist. Ugh. to dislodge. I don't like this area. That's already a fact. I had my headset volume up so loud I literally couldn't hear anything. So this is a place that I've been before. Are you conserving water from the spring? Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like for drinking? Eh, well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like water mill. Exactly. I like cocaine. Especially when it hits my brain. I have a feeling that the sharky monster guy is here. Oh, hey, there's a fish. That's cute. I don't know. I get, like, bad anxiety anytime there's a water level on amnesia. Water usually means little shark guy. I don't know if that was him or not, but I certainly heard something. Redirect sewer water. There's a note. Seventh of August, eighteen thirty-nine. 
There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going, and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon, where he preferred to attempt his rituals. It turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, paralleled only by da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenburg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. Neat. So now there's a rock up there. Nailed it. Alright. Let's try this. Didn't work. so we can get some peace. Yes, let's. Where to? Just down the corridor, to the morgue. Are there more dead men there? You did well, Daniel. Come, let's get going. I have a feeling the shadows want to be down here. Blood. To further prove my suspicions. I hear you breathing, Daniel. Do you hear me? Have you changed your mind? That's not creepy. Vaccine trials. Vaccine enabling my men to work in the fungi-ridden sewer is a definite success. Unfortunately, only a few of the servants have been remedied as the procedure proved difficult. Others will perish, and eventually I will have to create more of them to keep my experiments running. 
Note that an injection of vaccinated blood will work as a shield long enough to pass the sewers without any risk of infection. It will do fine for prisoner transport. Okay, so I need to inject myself with someone's blood. It's been vaccinated. The strange deaths among the servants and prisoners have finally been resolved. It seems that the drain sewer, which recently been opened for use as a means of transport, plagued by a peculiar, peculiar poisonous fungi. Otherwise, go to say particular. <sighs> I don't know why I was going to call it particular, even though it's peculiar. The victims seem to have suffered an extremely quick outbreak of sickness affecting the entire body. Some of my men, including myself, are blissfully, blissfully. Some of my men, including myself, are blissfully spared by the calamity. But it is clear that this cripples my progress. The prisoners die quickly, and their contaminated vitae lacks the energy I seek. I shall immediately start working on a vaccine. Their contaminated vitae. What is that? Uh, so I guess... Oh. I guess that's a room full of people that are, uh... Yeah. I don't know if I can show that on YouTube. Look at it though. Is my sanity slowly dying? What's the point of being in here exactly? It's a flower. I actually ran out of oil already? Jesus. I like, hardly use the thing. Copper tube. Laden them. 
box. I have a slight headache. And if she cuts some bruises. Apparently I got locked in this room. For some reason. Is that because my sandy was low or what? I just realized the dude has a big old PP that I might need to be blocking out of certain scenes. You want me to pinch the skull? Why do I need to do that? I now know why I need to do that. What the heck am I doing, dude? Oh, I know, I just did. Jesus. I just basically gave myself a uh, thing of blood. I just gave myself a transplant. That was really weird. Absolutely living crap out of me, dude.
Jesus. <laughs> so I think it's kind of fun. Bedlow was last carrying his anger. What? Went to class carrying the anger of his bitter mother. He never cried. He never made other. He made other cry instead. And it's like that. You either become sad or you become angry. Henry chose the latter. Is Sandy back? Yeah, it's pounding. Alright, it's pounding. 